today we're going to be finishing the peppers and finishing the pepper sauce. Well, these have been sitting 14 days and I am so excited to eat them on my tacos and anything that I want a little bit of spice with. If you remember episode 18, we uh, took the peppers, we ground them up, we added salt and sugar and garlic, and then we wrapped it up and sealed it away for the last 14 days. Now we're going to do the second half of the process. So we've already done the bulk of the work. Now all we need to do is separate the mash from the sauce, add some apple cider vinegar and xanthan gum, and we're good to go. So it appears this video is all Daddy Curbs inspired. I learned how to make hot sauce watching one of his videos. I will link his channel down below. And I also learned how to make homemade apple cider vinegar from his channel. Uh, so here we go. Mash, apple cider vinegar, xanthan gum. So I have my peppers and my Vitamix. I'm gonna pour my peppers into the Vitamix, let it go on the lowest speed for 30 seconds or maybe a little less. Pull it out, drain the peppers from the sauce, and we'll take it from there. Time to strain. the Vitamix. It's a fairly concentrated pepper juice. We're gonna add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Um, I believe that is so that it stops the fermentation of the sauce. I haven't noticed that to be true um, since I did this back in, <laughs> I think it was uh, August and it um, I gave it to my niece and it exploded in her car. <laughs> so, <laughs> goodness me. All right, and then also to thicken it, we're gonna add a teaspoon, maybe a little less than a teaspoon right now, of xanthan gum. All right. Uh, where is my lid? Do I have a lid? There is my lid. So I have my hot sauce back in the Vitamix. I've poured in a quarter cup of homemade apple cider vinegar, and I put in a teaspoon of xanthan gum. Now I'm going to blend it for 30 seconds to a minute or so. That's good. Hot sauce. 
So I'm not really after the hot sauce, I'm after the fermented peppers. Um, the hot sauce I'm making for my niece. I found this old jar uh, in the fridge, cleaned it out, and I thought, hey, that'll look good. Anyway, we're gonna pour this in here. Get it up, there we go, okay. So that one is for Jessica. I'm gonna get that in the fridge right away. And that little one will be for Troy and I. But wait, we're not done yet, folks. This is what I'm after, the fermented peppers. Uh, I'm going to put them in a I'm gonna put them in a jar and I'll have them to pull out anytime I want them. Alrighty. I should do a real taste testing for you. So, here we go. Woo, I can smell the garlic and the peppers and the fermentation. It's making me dizzy. Hold me back. Hold me back. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so we have awesome and awesome sauce. Thank you for coming back into my kitchen. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and if you did, remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so I can tell you when I'm coming back in your kitchen. Bye-bye.